It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Philadelphia Eagles. And it's all up next. We're just a stone's throw from the Delaware River. We've got some water to contend with ourselves. A steady rain falling at Lincoln Financial Field. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set for football now on a rainy Sunday afternoon. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Taken at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys who catches passes with him. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet him before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they'll be hard to beat each and every ball game. Any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second down, Kelly. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first and 10, Kelly. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Now a second and ten. Kelly to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing in too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. To throw, Kelly. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Fletcher Cox in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And it will be Eagles football, first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. 
And they'll be let out by their third-year quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100-plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. On first down, it's Cunningham. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And incomplete on the deep ball. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Here's Cunningham. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up the first down. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. On first and 10, Cunningham. And complete to Zach Ertz. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. It's caught by Jackson. Options galore here, second and a few inches. with first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. Off the option, he'll try and run with it. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. On second down, it's McCoy. And he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And, Brandon, that's good complementary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. Oh, 
And he returns this to the 22. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. start on the ground here on first down and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up and result of that one a nice four yard gain so you can use that to set up your play action game or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls looking to throw on second here's Kelly throw here is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. But you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. Down right. They did something to disrupt that timing. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, Kelly. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This is Thomas. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now Thomas. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. A defensive-minded coach loves to bring the heat, brought the heat there, and it worked out. And nowadays, all those defensive-minded coaches, for them, it's all about getting the football. I went into one facility, and as soon as you walked into the defensive room, there was a football, like on a spring, and each guy that walks in that plays has to act like he's knocking the ball free. They want those instincts created. They want them to think about that all the time. And that's what they try to preach. Following the fumble recovery, Cunningham. Jackson's got it over the middle. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Throwing again on second down this time it's incomplete just looking at it from a defensive perspective when you break the huddle in the red zone tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position and they want to get it to someone and in this case he had the play they just didn't complete it they'll try and run for it with McCoy well, they needed two they could only get one fourth down when a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot, and on that play, they were able to stop them short of a first down.
So on now the field goal team for Philadelphia. This from 32 yards away. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So golden field position there is squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first and goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit for holding them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. To throw is Kelly. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. They run with Thomas. Avoids him at the 40. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. That is cool. He's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That gain on third down, good for 28. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Now Kelly. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Play action, it's Kelly. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. They'll give him four yards there. And now we've got a third and three. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, 
and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On the ground, it's Thomas. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Keep in mind they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Now Kelly. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine yard line. They'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? On fourth down, Sean McDermott trots the field goal unit out there. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick here is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's yeah. just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, <laughs> hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Now Cunningham. That quick throw there is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Cunningham looking to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now a handoff up the middle. Westbrook, he'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Off play action. It's Cunningham. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. 
And the Bills are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Okay, partner, no surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing routes. Why? The offense knows where they're going with the football. The receiver knows the route he's going to run. You have to make sure you keep your footing underneath you. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Kelly to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. On second down now. It's Thomas, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Well, when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. And this offense on third down today, they've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and three. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the gun here. It's Cunningham. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here's third and six. Now Cunningham. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it, maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. On the return, it's Bird. It's a net of 40 there, a punt of 48, and a return of eight. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. He's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's 
from the 43. Here's second down and one. A play fake. Now Kelly. They'll go over the middle to Reed. Complete. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. to the left here to read. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. To throw, Kelly. Taken down. Back right around the 48 yard line. It looks like a 12 yard loss there on the first down sack. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, Can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now Kelly. He's going to walk this one deep left sideline. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, the first two drives only yielded three points. They might be thinking it's time to make something happen. Push the ball downfield and try and gain some points that way. Unfortunately, incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Kelly to throw. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup. Bounce didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and hook themselves out. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. A play fake. Now Cunningham. Trying to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. And that now, two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys, and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit and instead created a second one. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll take over here following the interception with a chance to tie the ball game. It's first and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Kelly. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, 
catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Up the middle they go. Thomas. And a short game down to about the 33. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion and a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Kelly. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. On first down. It's Thomas, and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On second down, it's Thomas, and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. From the gun, Kelly. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half, and on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties. And when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It's a loss of four. Now third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Looking to throw. Kelly. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On fourth down, Sean McDermott trots the field goal unit out there. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that'll bring him back within four. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. 
So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. On first down, it's Cunningham. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Cunningham to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Cunningham. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. Yeah, especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. On first down, it's Kelly. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe it'll slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Kelly. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Kelly. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here's second and five now from the 37. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete.
incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Kelly. for the fourth time today. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. Has a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and six. Here's Cunningham from the gun. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it, trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Now Cunningham. That is incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try to get some points.
They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. This is second and eight. Back to throw. Kelly. Finding knocks there. Complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. No gain on the play. And it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Thomas. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Here's Kelly to throw. And Diggs has it. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 12 more yards there and another first down. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Right back to him on first down. Yeah, work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 31, here's second and six. Throw left side is complete to Reed. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. They'll run on first down. Thomas. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves them still needing 11 here on third down. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Flushed out right. Now that'll be incomplete with a penalty marker down as well. 
And I think he was beyond the line of scrimmage when that ball left his hand. So since that last play got nothing, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty, and that forces a fourth down situation. On fourth down, Sean McDermott trots the field goal unit out there. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that gets him back within a single point. It's now 10-9. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat. But they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's got some space here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 22 and a first down. At halftime, you had to feel like the defense had to be in a good position. They had to feel good about themselves. They'd had this guy boxed in all game long. But after that run, that might be the breakthrough that he's looking for. Now they may have some difficulty dealing with him the rest of today. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Has caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are able to stretch out their lead. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Extra point attempt here still to come. And with that, the lead is up to eight. A drive there in just four plays. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. 
And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. On second down, Kelly. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. The left side caught by Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, they had a good chance to get off the field defensively there. If they could just wrap up, it's going to be a fourth down. But instead, they can't get him on the deck, and he allows them to pick up the first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. On first down, it's Thomas. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Looking to throw on second. Here's Kelly. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A play fake. Now Kelly. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. of six yards on the sack. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one-receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. On first and ten, Cunningham. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and in incompletion as a result. Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. This one gets him to the 10-yard line. 
They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Here's third and three. Cunningham looking to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and five. Here's Cunningham. Out of his hands, quick to Jackson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. From the shotgun, it's a give to McCoy. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for Philly. 48 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Cunningham. And this is Selleck here with a grab. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. They go back to the ground with McCoy. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down. Yeah, that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. Here's another first and goal, but from a little further back this time, following the penalty. Looking to throw, Cunningham. 
Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest game we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. From the 10-yard line, here's second and goal. Back to throw. Cunningham. A complete. Oh, no, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field, and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. From the 22 now, here's second and a yard. To throw, Kelly. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Now Kelly. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along this assembly line, something was off with that one. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Here's Kelly. Going deep for Diggs. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up in the late going. But the coverage was there. And this winds up incomplete. The Bills send the punter out as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. On the return, Jackson. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. When you've got a guy that fast back there to receive punts, that's a nightmare for the guy game planning, the special teams coach. But it's also a nightmare for the punter. Sometimes they get so nervous that they miss hit the ball and kick it right to him. here coming up and the lead is up to 15 now so his big play capability in full display there as he's able to return that punt for a touchdown
So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. A time to see what this offense has left in the tank. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Here's second and ten. Kelly. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Kelly to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To throw is Kelly. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now Kelly. And that will be incomplete as well. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. On first down, it's Cunningham. Looking left side, he's got it complete. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Cunningham. Bearing it out deep for Smith. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Second and 20. Zach Ertz, the man in motion. Up the middle, here's McCoy. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because, to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. The offense on third down, they've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and forever. Now Cunningham. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. The Eagles send out their punter now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Now a first down throw, Kelly. Wide open receiver complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? On first down, it's Kelly. That's going to be caught downfield by Reed. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 24 yards the gain there. Another first down as well. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. On first and 10, Kelly. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. He gets it to Thomas. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, it's been a tough goal for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played.
Here it is. Fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Two yards still to go. Third down now. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. A second and 11 from the 19. They'll try and run some clock now with McCoy. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So fly Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And a little bit of a surprise. They lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ballgame. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain, like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off, but they do know that in the future, they've got to work on taking care of the football because this won't happen very often. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.